Hello my friends, this is Mitchell with Visionary Hedge Products and today we're going to talk about some equipment that you're going to need to get started to grow your deep water culture plants. So you have your hydro bucket, you have your hydro lid. There's a couple other things that you're going to need. First off, you need a pump. Uh, any air pump will do, whether it's an aquarium air pump, uh, like a pet store air pump, or it's a hydroponic specific air pump. Uh, I recommend always getting the four port. You can always plug a couple ports to divert more power to one, or you can use the extra, you know, have one bubbling in water to remove chlorine, you know, to oxygenate water or to keep pre-mixed solution uh, oxygenated so it doesn't go bad. So the price difference between getting a single and a four port isn't that much. I always recommend getting a four port. Keep in mind where are you going to grow. If this is in the middle of your living room, you don't want a commercial pump. It might be a little loud for you. Uh, but if it's in your shop then, uh, or your garage, then you know that's gonna be fine. So keep that uh, in mind when you're buying an air pump. You need air stones. Uh, this is my favorite type of air stone. And the reason why I like this is that when you put it in and you drop it into your solution, you can let your solution come all the way down to here and you're still gonna be oxygenating the water. Some of the larger air stones or different shapes sometimes have a hard time sitting on the bottom uh, and then that results in a loss of oxygenation uh, once your fluid level uh, gets below the, the air line. So this is my favorite, so you need one of those. We're going to need airline. Airline comes in, in, in different colors, it comes in different qualities. Uh, some airline is really flimsy, and while that's nice for maneuverability, uh, I like the firm stuff because this delivers the max amount of, of pressure uh, into your air stone. Uh, you will notice that the flimsy stuff just does not deliver the same amount of bubbles into your solution. A lot of that power gets lost uh, with, the, with the lack of strength. A few other things you're going to need. Gloves. Gloves are important to protect your hands because we deal with acids, right? This stuff can burn your skin. I recommend using eye protection. You're gonna need a way to measure all this stuff. Simply enough, uh, you can buy these little syringes in different, you know, from one mil to 50 mil. It's, it's, they're all available, widely available. Uh, a little shot glass or, you know, a little jar uh, to put that solution in and to draw from. So you're not drawing from the big bucket. Uh, you're going to need ways to measure your solution. You need to measure your total dissolved, dissolved solids, that's your TDS. Uh, that's the, the how much, um, how many nutrients, if you will, that are in your solution. So this is just a, a way to measure that. And also a pH meter. And pH is not the most important thing in your garden, but is very close to one of the most important things. If your pH is not right, uh, your grow will not be successful. So. You, I recommend getting a pH pen, but also just getting the basic liquid. There's a, a liquid that you can buy and you simply add five drops to a certain amount of water and then it's a color coded thing. So you know, you're, you always have a backup because these eventually, these eventually just their design, they eventually fail. Uh, and so you don't want to be stuck not being able to pH your water uh, and be sure that you're having uh, availability to your plants. You will also need isopropyl alcohol. Uh, ISO is excellent for sterilizing things. Uh, it is also important if you don't want your whole life to smell like cannabis. I mean, we're after growing 
we're growing resin, we're growing oil, and that sticks to everything. At some point, your hands will be covered and your gear will be covered and you'll want to get that off. Um, so ISO is uh, excellent at doing that. You know, lots of bins and stuff, uh, you know, bins, buckets, uh, a way to measure, right? Um, these are all things that you should have in your garden. A notebook. Keep track of when you start things, how long you start things. Pay attention to things in your grow. Uh, you know, how much pH, how many milliliters of pH down did you need when you had 15 liters that were 6.5. If you keep track of stuff like this, um, it'll take the guesswork out of it. So you'll really get good at knowing exactly what it needs when it needs it. If you plan on using Hydroton, you're gonna need some Hydroton. Uh, so, widely available. A nice range of rock wool. Uh, again, depending on how you're going to grow, if you're going to grow in a hydropod, uh, which we will use more of a grow slab, which we cut uh, into the perfect shape, or works really well. These work great for clones, but also we can use something like this. Um, we're, so we're gonna show how to use both. And this is where we're gonna use hydroton in one of these. I like to use bags, uh, just to have some Ziploc bags to get my seeds started. Uh, we're gonna, I do a paper towel method, uh, so we'll do that in the next video. I'll show you how to get the seeds going. You're gonna need um, adjusters and nutrient solutions. So you're gonna, we'll get into that further down the line, uh, but you know, in part, make sure that you just, you're getting fully dissolvable uh, nutrients and nutrient line. Just because it says hydro does not mean it's fully dissolvable. Uh, so you want something that dissolves to a perfectly clear uh, or uh, dissolved solution. It doesn't have to be clear. A lot of them are colored, but uh, it just has to be dissolvable. No poopy stuff. Uh, some of the extra stuff that is not needed but helps a lot. Something like Germ Genie. Um, this is something that I use again. We're going to get some seeds started in the next video. And I find this stuff is absolute gold for getting 100% germination. Uh, if you're using rock wool, it's a rock wool solution. Again, this is not needed, but it conditions your rock wool in a really nice way uh, to get you going in the right direction. I like to have a big bucket. I find this was very helpful when I first started out and I wasn't sure exactly how much fluid I had. Uh, so I graduated a five gallon bucket that has the different measurements and conversions is very helpful. Paper towel, of course, cleaning everything, starting from a clean work environment and sterilizing your hands and your tools is always important. So that's going to help you have great success. So um, I'm sure I've missed some things, but that's a really good start. So go down to your local hydroponics retailer uh, support local if you can pick up your gear and we'll see you in the next video and get some seeds started